I had to make this video because I have been battling with getting ChatGPT4 to read my documents. And a few weeks ago, I developed a whole workflow for a client using my ability to read documents. And then I went in a few days ago and it would not read them. It kept saying there was an error. And I've tried everything. I tried to transfer it to different file types and um, nothing worked. And I was like, what the heck have I done? I got to searching, this is happening to lots of people. If it's happening to you, I found a solution. Let me show you what I found. So I was snooping around in the OpenAI comments. And of course there are tons of them. This particular person was trying to use aggression initially to force ChatGPT to read documents because He's like, hey, you've done it before. You can do it again. He eventually found a workaround and what he did was told ChatGPT to use Code Interpreter to load the file. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try that. So let me just show you what's been happening. Here's a file and I'm just asking it, can you read the file? I normally am giving a prompt and telling it to do something and then it's giving me this error. I just went ahead and said, can you read this file? Because I knew it was gonna give me the error and I wanted to show you what that looks like. There's an error, you know, no, there's no contents in the file. So I just said, use Code Interpreter to read the file and boom, it suddenly can read what's in there. And so I thought, well, let me make sure it can actually do work. So I wanted it to extract the entire transcript, it says it's that's too long. So I asked it to give me a summary and it did do that. So I don't know if this has limitations, if it can still do everything it did before, but I just wanted to share this out right now because I know there's probably lots of people battling with this very thing. And you just have to add the phrase, use code interpreter to read the file. And hopefully you can now get back on chat GPT4 and get some work done.